Hello friends, myself Gaurav Jagdish Patak and today we will see the new topic in engineering thermodynamics and the name on which we are focusing today is the boiler mountings. As the boiler generates the steam and high pressure, high temperature steam required in the various processes in industry and also for running the uh, boilers and for generation of electricity. Boiler mountings are the fittings which are mounted on the boiler for its proper and safe functioning. So these are the very essential mountings required for proper functioning of boiler. Some of them are discussed one by one below. First one is water level indicator, pressure gauge, safety wall, stop wall, blow off cob, pitch check wall, fusible plug. These are the some important mountings we will see. First one in front of your screen you can see water level indicator. It indicates the water level inside the boiler to an observer. That is, the level of water can be visible easily with the indicator. It is the safety device upon which the correct working of the boiler is depends. That is, it shows the user or boiler attendance that what is the level of water and it can be managed with a controlling of wall. It may be seen in front of the boiler and it is generally two in the numbers. It consists of steam cock and water cock train cock. The second very important mounting is pressure gauge. It is used to measure the pressure of the steam inside the steam boiler and it is fixed in the front of the steam boiler. It consists of elliptical elastic tubes bent into the arc of the circle which is called burdon tube. One, at, one end of the tube is fixed and fixed connected to the steam space in the boiler and other end is connected to a sec sector through a link. The third safety and in essential mounting of the boiler is safety wall. It is used to prevent the explosion due to the excessive internal pressure of the steam. The main function of it is to blow off the steam when the pressure of the steam inside the boiler exceeds to working pressure. There are basically four types of safety walls. The first one is lever safety wall. The second one is deadweight safety wall. The third one is high steam and low water safety wall, spring loaded safety wall. Now, what is the lever safety wall? You can see the line diagram in front of your screen of lever safety wall. It serves the purpose of maintaining the constant safe pressure inside the steam boiler. It consists of wall body with the flange fixed to the steam boiler and bronze wall steam screwed to the body which is placed upon it. The thrust of the wall is transmitted by the stud when the, the pressure of the steam exceeds the safe limit, the upward thrust of the steam rises the wall in the form of seed and allows the steam to escape till the pressure falls back to its normal value. Second type of safety wall is nothing but deadweight safety wall. It consists of gun metal wall and rest on the gun metal seat. It is fixed to the top of the steam pipe 
which is bolted to the mounting block and riveted to the top of the shell. Both the walls are in the pipe are covered by the case at the casing and contains the weight. The weights keep the wall on the seat under the normal working pressure. When the pressure of the steam exceeds the normal pressure of the wall as well as the casing is lifted up from the seat which enables the steam to scrape through the discharge pipe. As soon as the pressure will fall back, the weights exert the pressure and the wall retain its original position on the seat which blocks the steam to escape from the container. The third one type of the safety wall is high steam and low water safety wall. In this type, <coughs> it is placed at the top of the container. It is combination of two walls, one of which is lever safety wall and second one is blow off steam wall. The working pressure and the working pressure and the wall is of made up of brass or gun metal. The principal function of this wall is to control the flow of steam from the boiler. Another one is blow off cock. The blow off cock is fitted to the bottom of the boiler and it can be consist of conical plug which is fitted to the body of the casing. The casing is packed with the absorptor packing which grows round to the top bottom of the plug. The shank of the plug process through the gland and suffering box in the cover. The plug is held by yoke and two stud of poles. The principal function of the blow of cock are to empty the boiler whenever it is required and to discharge the mud scale or some some diamonds which are accumulated at the bottom of the boiler. Now, what is the feed check wall, another type, in which it is non-return wall type functioning and fitted to the screw spindle of the rectangular lift. The main function of this rectangular clip is to supply the water which is pumped into the boiler, particularly into the pressure tube boilers. This wall must have the spindle lifted before the pump. It is fitted to the shell slightly below the normal water level. Except the spindle, every part of the wall is made up of brass and spindle is made up of gun metal. Now, safety wall and important another mounting of the boiler is fusible plug. It is fitted to the crown plate of the furnace of the firebox and its main object is to put off the fire in the furnace when the level of the water in the boiler falls below the unsafe limit. It avoids the explosion which may be take place due to the overheating of the furnace plate. It consists the three hollow gun metal plug, second plug screwed to the first plug and third plug which is separated from the first plug by the ring of the fusible metal. Now what are the accessories that we see already are the mountings of the boiler and what we see now is the boiler accessories. There are the two different things in this topic. First one is boiler mounting and another one is boiler accessories. Boiler accessories are the devices which are used in the integral part of the boiler and helps in the running of efficiently through their 
many types of accessory are following but some of the important are shown one by one first one is feed pump second one is super heater third one is economizer and last one is air free heater now we can see all these functions one by one first one is feed pump water in the boiler is continuously converted into steam so the feed pump is needed to the driver water to the boiler the pressure of the steam inside the boiler is high so the pressure of the feed water has to be increased proper proportionally before the made to the enter into the boiler generally the pressure of the feed water is 20% more as compared to the boiler pressure and common type of pump are used in duplex feed pump as shown in figure these pumps have to be seats on the suction and delivery valves for forward and backward stroke the two pumps work alternatively so as to ensure the continuous supply of feed water second part of the boiler accessory is super heater a super heater is an important device of the steam generating unit and it purpose is to increase the temperature of saturated steam without raising its pressure it is generally integral part of the boiler and it is placed into the path of hot flue gases from the furnace now economizer is another one important accessories of the boiler economizer is the device used to heat the feed water by utilizing the heat into the exhaust flue gases before leaving the chimney as the name indicates that the economizer improves the economy of the steam boiler in which it follows the advantages of drain what drain feed flue gases it will be used to heat the water again it increases the steam raising capacity of the boiler because it is shorts the time required to convert the water into steam also it prevents the formation of scale into the boiler walls and it becomes the scale form then economizer tube it can be clean easily the another accessories into the boiler is air preheater and air preheater is used to recover the heat from the exhaust flue gases in which it is installed between the economizer and chimney the air required for the purpose of combustion is drawn through the air preheater where its temperature is raised it is then passes through the ducts to the furnace and the air is passes through the tubes of the heated heater internally while the hot flue gases are passes over the outside of the tubes following are the advantages obtained by using an air preheater and the preheater which gives the higher furnace temperature which results into move the heat transfer to the water and thus increase the evaporate capacity per kg of fuel there are increase in about 2% of boiler efficiency for each 35 to 40 degree celsius rise in temperature for the air which results in better com combustion which is less shoot which smokes the ash and enables the low grade fuel to be burned with the less excessive air this is all about the boiler mounting and accessories friends we will see the new topic in applied thermodynamics engineering thermodynamics in another way thank you very much thanks